Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Tuesday 4th of September. I'm recording this video 6.35 just after New York time on the 4th of September. Here's our daily chart for the S&P, not too much has changed except again this fourth wave correction has moved a little bit further sideways taking up another two sessions. If we see movement below 1391.74, because 4 can't move into 1 price territory, at that stage I would consider the possibility that we may have had the end of primary B up here and a rather large trend change up here. After that I would be waiting for a clear trend channel breach here of this channel on the daily chart before I would have any confidence in a trend change. At this stage it still looks most likely that the fourth wave is over now and the fifth wave should begin during tomorrow's session. The target zone has widened by one point at 1441 wave 5 pink will reach 0.618 the length of wave 3 pink. At 1443 wave C blue will reach equality in length with wave A blue. This primary wave B is a very rare triple zigzag so, when the third zigzag is over, the correction, if this upwards movement is a correction, must be over, because 3 is the maximum for a combination or a multiple. Let's have a look at recent movement on the hourly chart, with a high for 3 pink up here. There's this point up here. So this is wave 4 pink, and these subdivisions for a correction only fit, as far as I can see, as a very rare triple zigzag. So with last analysis I was expecting that 4 pink had been over here and this was the invalidation point which was breached during Tuesday's session by a fraction of a point. There was a high probability that 4 pink was over there because the only way it could have continued further was as a rare triple. The rarity of triples means the probability of this happening was very low. But that's the problem with rare Elliott Wave structures. Whenever they occur, they're not what you expected to see. The probability of them occurring is very low. So the subdivisions fit a triple zigzag, and this is where it would be over, and this is where wave 5 pink would begin. Waves 1 pink lasted 4 sessions, and 3 pink lasted 13 sessions, so I'd expect 5 pink to last between 4 and 13 sessions, closer to 13 sessions, because the momentum should be slowing. We have an overshoot of the parallel channel drawn here on the hourly chart. When the fourth wave overshoots the channel, we would expect the fifth wave could overshoot on the opposite side. That is possible, so we'll look out for that. So I think sideways movement for Tuesday's session was an extension of that fourth wave correction as a very rare triple. While price remains above the invalidation point on the daily chart and doesn't move below 1391.74, I will be expecting new highs probably this week. If price moves below 1391.74, I will consider the possibility that we've had a really big trend change. That's all for me today with your SP analysis, and I hope that everyone had a fantastic holiday weekend.